Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about my favorite topic and that is dog walking and how you can get more clients for your dog walking business. This is something that really deters a lot of people in the beginning from starting a business because they're afraid that they're not going to have any dogs to walk. But once you get past that initial hump of not having a lot of dogs, I promise you, you are going to be flooded with so many that you're going to have to turn dogs down. So there are three different places that you can get clients from and I'm going to go through through them now and if you guys can think of any other or if you have experience with this then please put that in the comment section that way we can all benefit from learning from you as well so let's stop talking and let's just do it the first place that you can get clients from is through canvassing and this is the old school way of doing it but I'm gonna mention it because it still works when it comes to dog walking so make flyers and put them up in the neighborhood that you're walking uh, paste them on poles go to vet clinics dog parks anywhere that you can get your brand out there do it and then people will contact you but do be professional with these flyers don't write text me right on the flyer and don't put a picture of yourself unless you want people to creepily call you I've seen that happen before and it's pretty unpleasant so don't do that make sure that you're listing the areas that you're walking in your services and prices and of course a place that the people can contact you at also make a Facebook page or a website very few people will just cold call a company when they see a number on a sign they want to see you with the dogs they want to see how you interact how you run your business so give them a place to go and get more information this will make you seem so much more trustworthy because people that that are not your clients yet they're gonna see you interacting with the dogs Dogs that you do happen to have and they're going to get really excited that their dog is gonna be a part of that if you don't already have any clients then you can start taking photos and videos with your friends dogs just ask them if you can take some photos and videos and put it on your social media account it just makes you seem more legitimate and people are gonna trust that a lot more so definitely get on your social media also make business cards I cannot tell you how many times I have been stopped on the street when I'm walking with people wanting my business card and and that's because people will see you interacting with the dogs. They like your style, they like how you're doing it, and they want to see more. They want to see more about your prices, but people don't always have time to stop and collect your information. So just always having those business cards in your pocket to give to people that will have your website, your contact info, etc. then that's gonna make it a lot easier for people to find you, and that's the ideal situation here. Also, a little tip. I would not say that you're looking for dogs, you're not looking for clients, I would rather say that you are expanding your pack. It's just a nicer way of wording it. It makes it seem like you already have clients and you're you're not desperate, you're not completely desperate to find other people. So definitely say that you're expanding your pack, that you have room in your pack rather than, I need clients, please give me clients. The second way that you can get clients is through the internet. The internet is an amazing place for dog walkers and dog owners to connect. There are a bunch of websites websites that you can go on to and you can actually create a profile for yourself um, and that clients can go on to there and if they like you then they can choose to contact you this is really great for pet sitting if you're looking to get more into that but also for dog walking as well two that are really reputable that I suggest are dogvacay.com and rover.com and I'll put links down below if you want to go check those out I have used both of these as a client when I needed a dog sitter for my own dog and the the experience was amazing everything was done through that app so all the payments they even covered for insurance which is amazing so that's a really good place for you to start if you just want to connect with some people also there are a lot of Facebook groups in different communities where dog walkers, dog trainers, and owners can all connect and talk to each other. So I suggest trying to find one that's in your community, joining that, and then writing a little post just saying, I'm a dog walker, I'm looking to expand my pack, here's a link to my website, blah, 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 blah you will find that people will contact you. I have definitely, definitely got clients in this way. And the third way that I suggest finding dog walking clients is through word of mouth. This is gonna be the way that you get the most clients, believe it or not. Dog walkers tend to talk to each other a lot. So this is how you're gonna get the most clients. If you already do have a few clients, ask them to suggest you to their friends if their friends need 
a dog sitter, a dog walker, anything. Make sure that you get the word out that this is what you're doing now, that you're starting this business. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody, put it on your social media accounts that you're looking to expand your pack and get some more dogs. Word of mouth is gonna be huge for you. I also suggest going to meet some of the other dog walkers. Some people are afraid to do this, but it is so, so valuable. A little hint, they hang out in the dog park during the day usually. So dog walkers are very nice. I find the community is really, really amazing for the most part. There is some cattiness sometimes, but for the most part, everyone is amazing. But do not, do not under any circumstances poach anyone's client. This is seen as gutless in the dog walking community. You do not do this. You don't steal clients. You don't be sketchy about it. You just got to be upfront and loyal to your dogs, your clients, and the other dog walkers in your area because it can be really crappy if the other dog walkers that you see every single day in the park dislike you. So do not, do not do that. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, <laughs>